Welcome to another episode of the Rock Fantasy Files. Uh, my first uh, Rock Fantasy Files uh, in conjunction with Napalm Records, and I'm very proud to uh, make that happen. And uh, today I'm having the pleasure of chatting with the band Mariana's Rest from Finland. Please introduce yourself to the show. Hello, um, I'm Jaakko. Uh, I do the vocals. Yeah, and I'm Nico. I do the lead guitars. Thanks for having us. Yeah. Thank you for your time today. The new album, Fata Morgana, is out March 12th on Napalm Records. Could you tell us about it? That's what we're pretty much here to talk about today, I guess, correct? Yeah, uh, well, it's our third third album. It's a kind of like an ending to a trilogy, uh, ending to a story. Um, okay. Uh, the whole thing is about, well, it's about kind of like mental health uh, on the first or our first album. The main character starts to kind of like feel hollow in a modern world and then he breaks down and this is where he picks up the pieces and travels far to exile to a cold place to ponder what went wrong and uh, what led him to take the journey and uh, that's kind of what the uh, album title is about Fata Morgana it's an illusion of course it can be caused by cold and that's what he figures out on on his journey uh, he's been kind of like the cold has distorted his vision and made him do all kinds of wrong decisions. So, okay. yeah, death, doom kind of stuff. Melancholy, yeah. death, we like to call ourselves. Excellent. I mean, I'm hearing it, listening to the band. Uh, you know, I, I just became aware of your band when I was offered the interview. And I was like, wow, how did I not know about you guys already? Because you're in the same vein of a lot of the bands that I listen to. I'm a big fan of Finnish band, uh, uh, Finnish metal in general, and you know the European bands. But uh, then uh, I, I watched a video this morning, uh, and I watched for the south of Vostok, and I also watched a video this morning from the song "Glow from the Edge," which are two songs from the upcoming album. Uh, what can you tell us a little bit about those songs? I guess I guess you kind of explained it already about what the album's about. Yeah, well, the South of Vostok is the it's the last song on the album. That's kind of where the uh, character um, rebuilds himself, or or then depending on how you look at it, maybe he just <laughs> curls up and dies. <laughs> but oh. but uh, <laughs> you can see it. You can have a lot of interpretations. Um, and then the glow from the edge. I think it was kind of like the uh, go to single on this album. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> okay, that's sound, sound sound wise it represents pretty much the band very well, I think. So for viewers that are unfamiliar with the band, we're trying to get the word out to let people know. How would you describe the band and the style of music since we're not playing any music on the show today or anything like that? No, no. Well, it's um we are all about the mood, uh the kind of melancholic atmosphere. Um we are not, uh, we play kind of stuff that evolves slowly to uh, inevitable end. Uh, it gets layers along the way. Uh, usually it starts slow, uh, very like um, from little things and builds up towards the end. The songs are pretty long, yeah. from five to 10 minutes. And um, uh, in the end, you get big fireworks. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's, um... To say it short, I think it's um, melodic doom slash death. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm feeling like, that with listening to it. Yeah, yeah. yeah maybe oh, some post elements too, kind of like post metal elements uh, uh, on on some parts. At least that's what people have been telling us that they hear some some post rock elements. Uh, okay. I, I can't say I disagree. Uh. Can you tell us the current lineup in the band? Yeah, well, there's uh, the two of us. Uh, Harry uh, plays the other guitar. Nico, Nico on the bass. Nico on the drums. We have three Nicos. So that's... Wow. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's not easy. <laughs> no, I guess not. You often have nicknames. I guess when you're yelling around the room, hey, Nico, everybody's answering. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and we already have discussed someone has has to change their name this cannot <laughs> this, yeah, this doesn't yeah. Use a middle name or something <laughs> yeah and then we have up on keyboards uh he's uh well he's the only one 
of us that, that uh, you might kind of recognize he's he plays in omnium gatherum as well oh he uh, does i love yeah. omnium gatherum i've caught them several times on tour here in the states uh well, yeah. yeah, sometimes it becomes a small world. I'm talking to someone and I didn't even realize that because I, I have another friend that's really big in the Finnish metal and I sent some of the names over to him and said, are you familiar with this band? Because, you know, I think you'd really love them. I didn't realize you had someone from Omnium. I've hung out with them several times in the States and always get, always try to see them. That was another question. Have you ever toured the United States? No. No. no but hopefully we'll get there when this all thing blows uh, over that would yeah. be one of the dreams we're waiting for that dark cloud it's moving very slowly but hopefully it's starting to move yes that, that cloud we're living through and uh some of the stuff that i was listening to some of your lyrics and i almost felt like it related to the pandemic but i guess in some ways it can be changed around that way but what you would said the meaning behind some of your songs about this guy's journey i feel like sometimes I'm going crazy. I think I was listening <laughs> to the, the lyrics on the song, The Millennialist, uh, yeah. through 2016's Horror Vacuum. And I was like, how that started out. I'm like, wow, sounds like how I'm feeling right now. That's being away from people and not being out as, you know, the shows and just being here in the house all the time. So I could really relate with some of that. And, uh, I guess a couple other questions I'd have for you would be, sorry, I'm a little new to this, but I'm trying to get better at it. <laughs> so, so are we. <laughs> okay, okay, good. So we're all together then. So we're having a good yeah. time. What was the last concert you guys played before this black cloud of pandemic uh, came across us? Were you on a tour? Actually, we got to uh, do one show uh, when this cloud was already over us. Uh, oh, you did? did yeah, like two no, shows. Two, two shows. shows. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We we got to do two shows uh, last summer uh, at the end oh. of the summer in Finland. There was uh, the the lockdowns were in the spring, and then yeah. the situation got a whole lot better because in here uh, we have a lot more space than in in we don't have so big cities, and and, okay. and that's why that we've had it. Uh, somewhat easier maybe than than in most parts of europe and in the rest of the world uh but not now it's getting worse again and oh, we, it is. Are, oh yeah. i'm sorry to hear that wow yeah, yeah we I are earlier, last summer we weren't allowed to have any concerts but we were you know at least we we're outside more the weather was warm the rates were down but uh what did you guys play an outside like a little festival or something out outside yeah, yeah, we played a festival in our hometown, Kotka, uh, and there was, of course, there were limitations and restrictions yeah. and all that sort of stuff. But uh, and we uh, kind of were, uh, we were, we didn't know if we were going to get to play or not uh, until mm. it, uh, you, we had this kind of you. It, the situation evolves all the time, and you cannot know mm -hmm. uh, when the next nest regulations kick in so but we got to play and that was well it was one of the best weekends the whole summer because it really felt like the people who got there, got there everybody had, had this urge to mm -hmm. to connect with the music and uh, feel again and it, it was it was love in the air yeah, people forgot about all the bullshit for a few hours. Yeah, yeah, I, I can understand that. You know, some bands that I have known and even interviewed here uh, were doing what they called in the States last summer, they were doing what you call a drive-in concert where you stayed in your car and watched a band perform. I didn't get to do that last summer, but I knew that was going on a little bit. And uh, it depends what state you are in the United States, because some states, even in Florida, are having some shows with limited capacity and New Jersey is starting to open up some of the clubs and whatnot. So maybe let's just hope that this is, you know, finally going away. What were some of the bands you played on that out on that weekend? Were there any bands that I would have known or like Omnium or anyone play? Uh, well, uh, there was, I don't know if you heard the black metal band called Barathrum. No, uh, I'll have to check it kind out. Of a cult band. Uh, yeah yeah it was kind of it was um, a smaller festival i don't think they could have afforded uh insomnium oh, okay. or omnium gatherum oh, okay. <laughs> uh, 
but it, it was a lot of fun. Uh, and there were uh, these uh, few cult bands, uh, and then there were uh, younger, younger, yeah, a lot bands. of local bands. Yeah. Right? So. Do you have any plans on doing a streaming uh, a, a concert or anything to help maybe because it's hard to promote new music without being able to tour and that's a question I asked, uh, you know, bands when I interviewed during this time period, what are you trying to do a little different since you can't get out on the road and promote and sell the record and you know the shirts and everything else are you, uh, you know, some bands do try a streaming thing I know Omnium and and uh, Insomnium were two of the bands that I was getting ready to go see. It was like a day or two when we just started the shutdown. I know they flew over here and I did mm -hmm. run their stream. And that was just a question, you know, for you. Well, we, we have uh, some plans like that. We are, uh, at least we can say that we are going to perform the album live and you get to see it if you want to. But oh. I don't know if it's if it's going to be like a straight uh streaming show because there are a lot of um uh kind of technical things and it's it's not that reliable maybe all the time uh, we we are not True. sure what the kind of uh, how we are going to put it out but we are going to play it live and uh you will get to see it via yeah. internet that would be awesome you know something that you could see on your website or on youtube uh, just to check it out and uh i guess one of, another question i always ask is uh what are some of your influences in music and uh, and another you know and also an album and pick one album that kind of changed your life that got you into the extreme style of music or metal or something like that okay mm, i think it may come as a surprise but i think i absorb most of my stuff from you know alice in chains stuff or something like that okay okay uh, but as for the extreme side of things, I think uh, at the gates was a huge thing for me when when I uh, heard excellent. The Slaughter, Slaughter of the Soul album. I mean, that's that's yeah. great. Uh, I'd have to um, maybe the main influence, at least uh, behind our our stuff, is sentenced uh, because they have the kind of same nihilistic uh atmosphere in the songs and a bit uh of, of humor as well uh in there and well i don't know if we have humor on the records but we have on live shows at least we used to have now now <laughs> but <laughs> but i love i love sentences and we all owe, owe them much i think but uh if we're talking about one of the albums that really got me into this sort of stuff I'd have to say it was uh, Total Devastation's Roadmap of Pain. Uh, it's uh, if you haven't heard them, uh, I, I I suggest you you give them a listen. It's a band from the same town as we are, Kotka, Finland. And okay, uh, they don't. I don't know if they're active anymore, but uh, their first album is was a major made a major impact on me. Excellent, excellent. Where did you come up with the name of the band Mariana's Rest? Uh, is there a meaning behind that? We found it on the bottom of a few beer bottles, I think. Yeah. <laughs> did you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's, it comes from Mariana's Trench, the deepest place on Earth, on the Pacific Ocean. And uh, we just tried to figure out something that uh, was um, had, had a deep, dark cold feeling to it and uh well uh, that that's that was the best we because marian strange actually doesn't sound that good i think mm -hmm. we, we had to change the last last line because of the google as well uh we, we don't need to have these geographical things when when you want to google our band yeah uh, but yeah that's that's the uh story behind the name Excellent, excellent. Uh, what else would you guys like to add today? I mean, we're we're kind of breezing through this in a hurry. Uh, anything you would like to get out? Uh, uh, oh, and uh, I guess one more question I can think of right now would be: you you have three albums out. Are they all available on uh, on hard copy like CD and vinyl? And uh, actually, the second album, Napalm, Napalm is re-releasing the second album the same oh, day. Are. Okay, uh, great. Yeah, yeah. So you can get the vinyl, uh, vinyl of uh, Ruins, our second album there. 
the first album, uh, yeah, there are hard copies, CDs, not vinyls. Okay, CDs, yeah. yeah, you can you can get them, uh, and you you should <laughs> because we need money. <laughs> oh yeah, please. We have a severe drinking problem, and we need to finance it somehow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. I think I have more of a drinking problem since this is going on because I'm getting bored of watching television. I'm taking, I, I'm home a lot because I take care of my wife. She's got some health issues, so uh, it's just um, like eh, drinking. And uh, <laughs> please, I say this in every episode of Rock Fantasy Files: support these bands if you can support them in any way. Buying merchandise and buying CDs, buying records, just to support. You know, it, it's just something we have to do right now you know and how yeah. and of course i'll put all the links to to your website and napalm and everything in our links uh when is that i know that the album is coming out the new album is coming out march 12th when is do you have the date for the reissue on that record uh it's the same same day yeah oh it is march. yeah yeah okay yeah. so you can uh pick them out both up in uh early march we're almost there i mean next uh when this airs it'll probably be march i think what this is like the one of the final days of february as i'm as we're doing this on a friday uh, friday morning here in the states i guess friday afternoon over overseas with you guys yeah yeah i guess Even. for we're, we're running pretty close to the end and uh anything you guys would like to add for the well i i think uh, uh we just want to kind of wish wish strength to uh, everybody to kind of uh, make through this uh, this will blow away this will go away and we will get to enjoy live shows and each other's company and yeah uh, better times are ahead i'm sure of it yeah i can only hope we can only only take it day by day right now and just be happy we're all t still healthy and hanging in there right yeah yeah well please uh please take a moment and check out Mariana's Rest. I know they're available to listen to on, you know, all the chat, Spotify, YouTube. Uh, I just watched some of their videos. It very, very well done. The videos are, and uh, okay. I, I want to, you know, it's a band that I, I'm going to be following. And uh, that's, you know, I guess we can wrap it up. And uh, thanks for everybody for coming on. Please take a moment to subscribe. Please go over to their YouTube channels and subscribe to them. And uh, how do we find you? Do you have a website? Yeah, we have. It's uh, uh, the band name dot com. Okay. Easy enough. Uh, easy uh, enough. Easy enough. And, uh, lyrics and all that sort of stuff and uh, nude poses of us and all, <laughs> all that stuff. <laughs> and are, are all your songs, you know, because some Finnish bands I know will do stuff in Finnish. Are, are, are your, all your lyrics pretty in English? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, Oh, uh, well, there's one part in, in one of the South of Vostok song where there's a small part of Finnish. Okay. Uh, just to add some exotic vibes, but, <laughs> but otherwise it's all English. Yeah. Bad English, but English, <laughs> English nonetheless. <laughs> well, hopefully one day we'll be together and we can share a uh, pint together. Yeah, and, uh, yeah definitely. Yeah, you can come over with Omnium and, uh, you know, I'll, and have some, we'll have some good times. Let's just uh, maybe we have to wait another year, but who knows, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we we will surely visit uh, visit your place when we have the chance. That's, that's oh, for sure. please do, and uh, we'll stay in touch and uh, stay strong and rock on. And thanks for watching an episode of the Rock Fantasy Files with my first Finnish band, Mariana's Rest. So, yeah, <laughs> thanks, thanks for having us. <laughs>